man i tried to make it i tried to make it on time i was like 20 seconds left and i was like oh my god i don't think i'm gonna make it <laughs> all right we are in Leighton lake though super excited my eye line is usually up here but now it's here today so we're we're good how's everyone doing zach's here what's up z that's awesome you know last time i want to say it was the last stream we uh <sighs> we started out and I thought I hit the mute button, but I didn't. And so I was just like talking for like 30 seconds with nothing, nothing going on. G-Man's here. What's going on, G-Man? Oh, goodness. Haven't gotten a Twitch notification yet. What do you mean? What do you mean? Hey, Matt's here. How's it going, Matt? My goodness gracious, two mods now. We got two mods going on. We're looking professional. How's uh, how's everyone's day been? Pretty good so far? Is everyone getting psyched for uh, Hunting Simulator 2? <laughs> I hope anyway. I don't think I don't think I'll play it for very long cuz I mean that's the worst thing about it. It doesn't have a lot to to go as far as long-term gameplay goes, but you know, should still be okay. SC Outdoors is here. How's it going? Sound out of breath, my friend. I was running. I was running in my house. I was like sprinting. But of course, it became like the office coffee walk because I had like I was holding in my hands. I was like, oh, can't spill, can't spill, and I can't shake this up either. So I had to be careful. Had to be careful. Anyway, trip shot, first diamond caribou. Very cool trip. I think I might have said that, but I wanted to make sure I said something about it. The air gun guy. You know what, air gun guy? Maybe someday. I've known Matt for a long time, and I feel like I've known Z for a little while as well. So, um... Maybe, maybe one day. Just, just depends on how much I see. I never, I uh, never make moderators that I haven't known for. Golly, Matt, how long have I known you? Half a year, if not longer. I'm not sure. So, yeah, it's been, it's been good. It's been real. Tan Tan's here. How's it going, Tan Tan? It's uh twelve thirteen. I don't know if you can see it on my little uh my little cell phone there, my palm pad. What, what the hunter mate? We call it the hunter mate. I was thinking we need to come up with a cool um nickname for this thing. But yeah, I guess the hunter mate will do it. We're rocking the six point five, the twenty two, and a recurve bow. <laughs> oh my god. So I guess if we see a white tail today, we're gonna be shooting it with six point five. I uh, I still have my loadout from. Um, the melanistic Mouflon video I did, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. 6.5 will work on Whitetail. But, I'll tell you what won't work. Having the tracks off, that's going to make it a bit difficult. I always uh, turn the tracks off when I'm trying to take pictures of things. Usually for thumbnails on videos. Expert tip, just letting you know. But yeah. Ooh, that's a good size white-tailed jackrabbit there sorry to get thrown off I know we're supposed to be looking for white tail but hey when you see a max weight jackrabbit you gotta go for it bro old droppings though hmm don't know if that's worth chasing down especially when we have a bunch of white tail need zones we need to check out but always good to remember and we might run into them as we walk down this way, because I know that the jackrabbits have some need zones down this way as well. Okay, I need to get caught up on the chat. Do you kill turkey? Do I kill... I mean, I don't just walk around and just lop the heads off of any turkeys I see. Um, I've hunted turkeys before. Many a time, growing up. But, uh, yeah. You know, that's that's something. Is the 6.5 worth getting? Ah, nah, not really. It's not anything special. Although, if you have a, I mean, if you have Quattrocolinus, then I believe you get the 6.5 for free. Um, right? I want it. No, you probably have to pay for it. 
Uh, I don't know. Usually if it comes with a map, you do have to pay for it. So I would think the 6.5 you would have to pay for. But I could be wrong. <clears throat> Tantan says it's not worth it. <laughs> we searching for the Great One? We are. We are searching for the Great One. Though I have heard some horror stories of Whitetail saying that, um, you know, people saw Whitetail to begin with and then they never saw them again afterwards. And, oh, I, I can't find a single Whitetail on my map now and all this stuff. So who knows? Who knows what we're going to find? Do I have... I do have it. Good deal. I was going to say, if we find this 12 to 15 pound... 12 to 15 pound jackrabbit, by golly, I'm going to snipe that dude. While we're out here looking for... For a whitetail. Because a, a diamond jackrabbit is on my checklist. I want to get one of those bad boys. Got a cow. Moo moo. Um... Oh, it says it in the title. That's okay. You know what? Unless I in the, unless I hear it a bazillion times, then I'll make a frequently asked questions video about it. So you know what? You're honestly just uh if you ask the same question, if multiple people ask the same question, it honestly just gives me an excuse to make a video about it. So that's how that works. <laughs> Do you ever get the albino grizzly? Ooh, that sounds fancy. Matt, you chasing after an albino grizzly? I believe I saw a picture of an albino something or other. 69, 6 to 9, not 69. Hey, that's the boy right there. Just making sure there's not any other 12 to 15 pound jackrabbits around here. You would think that if there were any whitetail around here nearby I mean obviously that that cow's not moving so I guess I guess there couldn't be anything over there moving but you know let's go see this would be sick if this was uh all of a sudden all of a sudden found a uh I was gonna say can we get this with this Ooh. Where do you go? Is it right there? Nope. Where'd you go, Jackrabbit? Oh. Missed them. Missed them. Oh, did we shoot over him? Goodness gracious. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Didn't Getting distracted by all these jackrabbits. I thought if we could get a sick shot with them, then that might be pretty cool. Oh, it's a gold. 5.85. Off by 0.5. Oh, well. Always worth trying. When you find a 12 to 15 pound jackrabbit, go after it. Go after See, I'm still used to pointing up, but I need to start pointing to this now. How many people have got a great one? Ooh, I think, what have we talked about, uh, one? I think one person's got one since they've come out? As far as what I've heard, uh, I think I heard Zaggy say that. So, uh, they are as rare as they're supposed to be, which is good. See, now I'm, now I'm searching every jackrabbit I see. This is going to become a, an obsession of mine. Great ones and jackrabbits, my new obsession. Which is fine, that's a good obsession to have, right? BZ, you should do a video about what you would like to see added to the Call of Wild. I, you know, I guess so, SC, but I don't know. You know, you show up to the Hunter Call of the Wild, like, uh, streams on Tuesdays and stuff like that, and I feel like half the chat is just people asking for things, and it's like... You know, they're never going to get added. You know, it's not like you saying it is going to be like them going, Oh, 
oh, okay, you know, th thank you, random person. I I'll definitely, I'll drop everything we're working on right now. The two reserves we're working on for the year of 2020, let's just drop that, and we'll work on whatever you just asked. They're not going to do that. I mean, they have a survey every year, and uh, they plan things out, and if the survey doesn't really match up with what their plan is, then they'll, they'll change it, but, um, you know, a little bit for that year, but not too much. I'm gonna say. Got it a little high. Didn't think. Oh, there he goes. 50 to 75. <clears throat> Should drop up there. Well, yeah, Tanzan, that's true. The Watcher. Hello, BZ. How's it going? Hey, not too bad. Can't complain. Can't, can't complain. Goodness gracious. My eyeline is just shattered right now. Okay, but yeah, we're doing great. Thanks for asking, The Watcher. How are you doing? Tell me how you are doing. Two people, says G-Man. Though I'll tell you, the person who found it in the beta, I feel, I honestly feel really bad that they had a taste of victory and then it just got stripped away from them at the end of the beta. Isn't that, it's horrible. To be like, oh my god, you found something that's super hard to find, and, uh, you know, you may be lucky to find one in an entire year. And, uh, and he found it during the beta instead of his actual game. That is just horrible. Goodness, EW, why do you do that to that guy? So mean. Um, here's our moose we shot with the recurve. What's the, what's the distance? 74.12 yards. Not bad. Not bad for a recurve shot. A. Eh? Oh, we got a bear. Biggest whitetail. Biggest whitetail. What's that? What, what is that supposed to mean, air gun guy? I'm trying to decipher it, but I'm, I, I, I'm coming up blank. Coming up blank right now. <sighs> so anyway, anyone having uh, any luck lately? Someone said they got a, a diamond kudu, I want to say. And um, other people. Did you hear Zaggy's quitting Twitch? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Is that true? It doesn't sound true. Does he have a plan? What's his plan? Tell me. Fill in the blanks. Unless... Oh... Wait, let me check my watch. Is this April 1st? Is this... Is is, is May the, f the 4th the alternative April 1st? He's going PH gaming. He's gonna go test PH levels on, on things? That's crazy. That mad lad. That absolute mad lad. He's gonna just go around and just test PH levels from now on. Have you killed whitetail in real life? Uh, yes. Yep, I've gone hunting for whitetail. I've got two, um, three, four, uh, I don't, I don't remember how many. But I've got uh, three. I've got a big buck behind me, and I've got some smaller ones in my closet. Got, got a couple, couple here. Just ones that I haven't hung up, but Ooh. but I, I don't like taking the one down off the wall. It's a pain to get back up there. In the hospital for dizziness? No, what's going on there, Sharon? Do you know? Have they told you? Have they told you what they think yet? Oh, here we go. Here we got a, a big male. <sighs> Getting sidetracked by the moose. We, do I have a... Oh, it's not going to really matter anyway. Nope, just, uh, just move on there, girl.
Ooh. Gonna go for an MRI. Ooh, okay. I see ya. I think I must have stuck that arrow in his shoulder blade, at, er, <laughs> unfortunately. And my second arrow hit this tree. <laughs> <clears throat> Shoot him! Shoot him, G-Man said. He is at 50 to 75. He might be dropping here. Might be dropping up here in a little bit. Didn't do. Oh, he's at 25 to 50 now. We're, uh, you know, we're hunting uh, moose, but we're also just kind of running around. Or we're hunting the great one. We're looking for the great one, but, you know, if a moose just walks in front of me, I'm not just going to let it just walk by. Pfft. What kind of hunter would I be? Just letting the small animals walk by. Ugh, ridiculous. That sounds like something you do in real life, but this is a game. That's ridiculous. Your biggest is a 12.108 inch. That's awesome, air gun guy. You know, the one behind me is actually 12.2, so that's, that's really cool. We're 12 point buds. We're 12 point buddies. That's really cool, though. It was a meme, Tantan. No, not Corona. Not Corona, Sharon. Said. Oh, that's good. That's that's good. I about called you Corona. That's good, Sharon. Glad to hear that. Where are you? Are you talking to me? Where where am I? Like located? In real life? Or or on Layton? I'm over here on Layton. I've, uh, I've started really liking this spot over here. Unfortunately, um, right before the Great Ones came out, I expected there to be a population reset, but there wasn't, unfortunately. So I just, uh, I just shot like a bunch of whitetail. And um, yeah, I haven't seen any more whitetail. There used to be need zones all along the banks of this. I must have destroyed the need zones or something because they're really not coming. There we go. That's better. You were trying to confuse BZ. Dude. Dude, I'm always confused. You can't add confusion to me being confused. It's like using confusion in Pokemon and then using it again. Like, it's not going to work. I'm already confused. Might get it because you're at the hospital. <gasps> I have a great one shot him Saturday with the muzzle loader. Opticon. Oh, you're gonna have to post some pictures on the BZ Hub Discord. Pixar didn't happen, bro. Pixar didn't happen. <laughs> but you know what? I have you know, people say things all the time. And then they and then they actually post it on the BZ Hub Discord and then we're like, Wow, whoa. Good job, dude. So so go ahead. I'd love to see your great one. That'll be awesome. I need the link. There should be a link down below. Should be a link down below um, in the description of the video. Yeah, the description of the live stream, anyway. Three people with great ones. Yeah, with the muzzle loader too. That's pretty cool. Getting out here, getting out here. So the plan is we're going to basically check out this spot, make sure there's nothing, nothing soups cool over here. And then we're gonna run north up that river channel there where they have lots of lots of cool stuff usually. How do I post pics? Well, go go into the BZ Hub Discord. Join the Discord. Go into the Call of the Wild trophy flexing area and post your pics. Let everyone see them. We have people that they, they flex a lot. We have a lot of people that flex. They're like bodybuilders in the Call of the Wild 
community. Oh. We got one doe. I don't see anything else, though. They might have ran away before, but I'm not seeing anything. We used to also have a herd that was on the other side of this little island here, and I don't see them. So, hmm. Hmm. I am only seeing one set of tracks, too, for that doe, so she must be alone. Unfortunately. Gavin, Gavin says, "What did I miss? Not a whole lot. I mean, we're just we're running the running the uh, you know the route. Is that what we're gonna call it? the the whitetail route? Looking for looking for a great one. Is the plan today? If anyone has any great ideas about where we should check out, we'll we'll add that onto the list." But basically, we're just going to run um, the usual route. I uh, I gave the game 48 hours to... I don't know if that really helps out with any of the uh, spawning and whatnot, but I, I went ahead and slept for 48 hours, so we'll see if that spawns anything in, and uh, we'll run up this uh, river channel and see if we see anything cool, and if we don't, then we'll uh, maybe move on to a multiplayer game and see if we can find anything on there. Is the plan, anyway. Joining the Discord. Bye. Hey, goodbye. Good goodbye. Like an old uh, AOL email server. Ryan Kenny. Yo, yo. What is up, Ryan Kenny? How you doing, Ryan? How's your day? How was your Monday? It might be kind of cool to put a tent up there. I'm wondering about that. Just to be able to look at the top of the bridge and see if you can see anything cool while you're up there. It might be, might be kind of nice just to see. Isn't the greatest. Okay. That's fine. That's fine, Opticon. People post pictures of their TV screen all the time. That's all right. That'll work. Gray one. Nope. Still a nice 187 to 220 whitetail there. I love 187 to 220 whitetail. We have some other ones over here too. That's a doe. I can't tell what the one to the left of it is though. It was okay. Bird pooped on my phone while I took it out of my pocket earlier. Oh no. <laughs> that is horrible. That's uh, I'm pretty sure it's good luck according to Fable 2. Um, it didn't hit your head, but I'm guessing your phone is uh, you know, part of that because your phone does go, you know, near your head, so pretty pretty close anyway. Okay, so that's also a buck over there. Oh, that's the recurve. We want the 6.5 is what we want. Doesn't seem like a very big one. Whoa. Look up again, bro. I don't know. There's a hill there, so I'm not sure if he dropped or if we 
wounded him. Guess we'll see once we get up there. <sighs> I've been playing so much Hunting Simulator too. It's crazy. There's not... If you hold your breath, it doesn't slow the game down like it did in the first game. So that's a that's a tiny little tiny little tip. It's the only thing you're gonna get out of me. But um, so my aiming isn't as badly off as it was when I was playing the first game, which is nice because I was <laughs> that day that I was playing Hunting Simulator One all day long, and then I switched to Hunter Call of the Wild. It was bad. I was aiming so weird, just because I was used to uh, time slowing down, and then also look at those super skinny tines goodness gracious we did get that other one though that's cool so now the heart there 234 35 36 away from a diamond there good looking buck though where do we hit this guy got him in the lungs and the spine so that did the damage there right on two bucks down maybe they'll spawn back as a good one <clears throat> Tan Tan says he's gonna be right back in 10 minutes. Right on. Right on, bro. Do have a, uh, a white tail right here. Oh. Dang it. Dang it. Big mail, big mail. <laughs> Not too bad anyway, G-Man, that's for sure. Gold albino grizzly, if you want to see it. Hey, Opticon, you post whatever you got, man. People love seeing that stuff. It's, uh, you know, that's one of the best things about the Hunter Call of the Wild, you know. We played all these games growing up. You know, Deer Hunter, Deer Hunter 2, Deer Hunter 3, Big Game Hunter, all this stuff. There was no real, like, sense of bragging, you know. Nothing, like, told us, like, oh, you know, I I shot this animal. I'm going to tell my friend about it because it wasn't that big of a deal, you know, honestly. If you shot a, a black bear in Big Game Hunter, you know, then your friend just goes, yeah, I shot a black bear too. And you're like, oh, okay. And that's it. But in the Hunter Call of the Wild, you can brag about it. And so that's 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 one of the cool things about it all. Um, it's all friendly competition, of course, but uh, it is cool to be able to brag about something, and that's why these great ones are going to be really cool. Is because everyone has a diamond these days, it seems like anyway. Um, but you know, not a lot of people have uh, great ones. Let's see. Let me check the Discord here. Opticon. It's thundering now. What was that? Oh, we got a male white-tailed deer making a noise now. Oh, I see a female. All right, we're hidden. Throw a call that way. Do do do. Trophy flexing. Hey, there we go. There we go. See, is it? It's probably really blurry. <laughs> That's really cool. Really cool, Opticon. And you're posting EW employee. People change their names to the craziest things. To the craziest things. But that's that's awesome, Opticon. Congrats. Congrats on that. I think that is one of the funniest things, though, because, like, you know, there's people who have been playing this game for a long time and, uh, you know, have been looking for, I don't know, a melanistic puma or uh, uh, an albino, you know, I don't know, a, a diamond albino moose or something like that. And it's like, you know, you could play this game for three years and never find one. Or you could play it for two days and find one. Like, it's just all random, honestly. Can we get this guy with the bow? Because that would be cool. Oh, shoot. Draw. Oh, I shot. Oh, my God. I shot over him, I think. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
we got him. Yep, he's wounded. 50 to 75 right now. I just want you all to remember that. <laughs> I shot that deer on the run. In the butt. But I mean, still. With the recurve bow. Give me some credit. That was pretty sick. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm tooting my own horn right now. It's all about having luck. It is. And you know what? Luck, as uh, as some people like to define it, is uh, when skill meets opportunity. And you know what? Uh, sometimes it's 75% opportunity, and other times 25% luck, you know, or you know, at the same time, 25% luck. And other times, you know, you you run the same route for multiple days, and you know, finally that 25% of opportunity presents itself. And it all works out. Everything falls in place. You put that skill to the test, and you finally got lucky. And that's how the game works sometimes. So, yeah. In that case, yes. It is all luck. It is entirely luck. Here he is. There we go. There we go. Recur bow. To the to the leg there. <laughs> I'm eager to see. Look at that. The arrow like goes into its leg. Oh my gosh. We got a hundred percent flesh shot on a white tail with the recurve bow. Oh my goodness gracious. Man, if it was just a little bit higher, we would have got that lung, and then that would have been pretty pretty awesome. That's awesome though. The recurve bow does some damage. The RNG gods. How can you get diamond respawns? Well, I mean, you gotta shoot other animals, I guess. I mean, you're not gonna get a respawn unless you shoot another animal and something takes its place. You know, everyone's got a theory on how their respawns work, but honestly, I've never heard EW. Uh, you know, make it loud and clear on what you should do, whether you need to replace the, the need zone, uh, basically, or if just shooting one deer will replace it with a better deer. Um, and if that's the case, um, you know, I've heard them say that, you know, the maps can only support so many diamonds. So, say, if, if a map can support four diamonds or something at the same time, or five or something like that, and, uh, and you go around shooting all the other animals, um, hoping to have a diamond spawn in, it's not going to spawn in, because there's already the max, max number of diamonds around there. So, who knows? Who knows for sure? That would be nice to know, I think, from EW, so... What's up, everybody? Hey, Mark, how's it going? Stopping by. Opticon says, I had 50 hours of grinding in it. 50 hours of just searching for the great one? Or what? I think I got... Um, oh, we're having a spike here. 19 frames per second, 29 frames, 22, 31, 50, okay, now we're back. God, I don't know what is with my game lately. It does that like every every stream now. It has this, uh, this random opposite of a spike. Just a hole. It really should be a hole. It has a hole in the frame rate. All of a sudden it drops down to like 13 frames per second. It's so weird. But yeah, Opticon, 50 hours of just grinding for the great one, is that is that correct? But as I was saying, I think I got, um, I don't know, maybe 12 hours? Let's, I can check. Uh, wow, I have played it for 30 hours. Yeah. 
So I, I have 30 hours in uh, Hunting Simulator 2 at the moment. Just trying to get content for videos and whatnot. So. So that's what I've been doing. Not hunting the great one. Just got your brook trout from the taxidermist. That's awesome, Gavin. How's it look? You'll have to post a picture on the BZO Discord. I'd love to see it. I should really make a uh, Discord channel for, you know, in real life fishing and hunting. Because I'd love to see you guys out there fishing guys and gals and everything in between. Out there fishing and hunting. That'd be really cool to see those pics. I need to get out there. It's starting back up. I need to get, honestly, I need to get a, a new fishing license. My fishing license ran out. And I was like, oh god. Well, that's just another thing to do now. So... I got, I got things to do. Well, okay, sorry, deer hunter, I, I missed it. What should I save up for a seven millimeter or forty-five seventy? Seven millimeter, just like Mark said. Yeah, the seven millimeter is uh, to a free player. The seven millimeter is the best weapon in the game. Um, it, it can hunt so many classes of animals. Um, you'd really be missing out if you didn't get the seven millimeter. We have two small whitetail bucks up here, unfortunately. <sighs> swoosh, swoosh. What are the swooshes for? <laughs> yes. Yes, Mark. Um, but anyway, let's read OpsCon. Yes, I had 50 hours of grinding for the gray one. My theory is shoot all the males fast forward four days, save and quit and repeat. I also usually have a dedicated spot for destroying my hunting pressure. Aha. Aha. Yeah, I mean, that's that's basically my my plan, too. That's why I'm just kind of running around. You know, if I, if I see two males like this right now, I'm probably going to pop these two males and then we'll we'll move on and and uh, once we run this river chain we'll maybe go check out some multiplayer spots and if anything we'll just come back and change the time again and uh, see if we get some respawns going on okay this is gonna work this is gonna work great Whoa, whoa. He's going to drop there, but I missed that second one. Unfortunately, kind of pulled, I, I think maybe if I would have aimed a little lower, I kind of pulled it up and uh, aimed at him about head level. And I think maybe if I would have had it a little bit lower, I might have been able to clip the body, but oh well. We can talk about all the things we, we would have done back then. But they ain't gonna help anything. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Like the bottom left lake in Layton. Shoot a lot of ducks and clear the pressure. Hey, good idea. Opticon, that's a great idea. We might just do that. Oh, diamond jackrabbit? Diamond jackrabbit? Oh, we had the other, the other white tail though. Diamond Jackrabbit. Six to nine pounds. Okie dokie. I love the big wide deer like that. I think I say that every time I shoot one or see one. For that matter. Now it seems like they're spread out and fewer in number. 
Yeah, I mean, I remember when we first started, they were like freaking mondo herds of whitetail. Like, I remember seeing like upwards of 20 to 30 like whitetail and elk and blacktail like in a big herd just down by the water. And that's ridiculous. <laughs> so I almost, I know that it's not as fun not having as many animals to hunt, but I almost prefer it the way it, this, it is now. But it's whatever. Are they going to make great ones for other species? Yes. Yes, David. They are. Um, they start, they're they starting with the whitetail, but they're going to move on and then do other great one species as well. So that's the plan anyway, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. It would be neat to at least get, at the very least, get a great one on every map. And then they could, uh, you know... Do more after that, you know. If they want to, they could eventually do a great one of a few different species on every map, but you know what? Don't want to make it too easy. Do I classify as a great one? I don't know. I leave that up to you. I'm not going to classify my, myself. He's going with a melanistic and 99.07 kg whitetail for the huddle multi-mount. Oh yeah? <laughs> what do you think a lion would look like as a gray one? Ooh. Ooh. Maybe like Scar from Lion King. Be kind of orangish with a black mane and then like a big scar over his eye. Green eyes. Honestly, just do Scar from the animated Lion King. Not not the newest one, but the one before that. <laughs> the one from, uh, you know, back in the day. Honestly, uh, just take the lion from that movie and, and, you know, even if he looks nothing like the other animals in this game, just, you know, I just want him to be thrown into this game. You know, I want him to look cartoony. More cartoony than the animals in this game. Did I make myself clear? Do I have to keep talking about it? <laughs> Welcome back, mate. Thanks. Thanks, thanks. Mufasa. I don't want to shoot Mufasa. Oh, oh, you brought back horrible memories. Poor Mufasa. Long live the king. A lion gray one that actively hunts you. He just, uh, yeah, he just stalks you. Oh, oh, I see you now. I was going to say, I heard the noise, but I don't see you. So, okay, we have... Ooh. More over there, too. Okay. I see you. I see you, Whitetail. You froze. Oh, no. Honestly, don't have me up on YouTube anymore, so I can't watch. Can't watch my, my stream. Okay, I got it. I got it now. It's not frozen on my screen. I'm sorry. Did we confirm that Optic got a great one? I mean, as far as I can tell. I mean, uh, uh, no, it's, it's, a, it's a shot of a screen, and there's pictures of it, and there's pictures of it alive, and then dead. So, I mean, you know. I have, I have never seen it before, those pictures. So, I mean, we might as well believe him for now. <laughs> no reason not to. Now, if he had given us pictures of, you know, pictures I had seen before, then, then, might think something, something's up, but I'll trust him for now. I'm back from MRI waiting for the results. Hey, right on, Sharon. We're excited. We're a community pulling pulling for Sharon. Good good results anyway. Yo, what I miss, Jack Jardine. Not a whole lot. We're uh just hunting for whitetail. We've shot a bunch of whitetail. Just nothing big at the moment. 
few 154 to 187s here. This one's the bigger one out of the two. Got a doe over there and another 154 to 187. Six hard black bear. Goodness gracious, dear, could you bunch up any more? Venison sounds good right now, does it? I think we're going to have to shoot one of these dudes just to get them to spread out again. They're attentive. Okay, so our wind's blowing directly. She's stuck in a bush right now. Or a tree, I guess. It's more, it's more like a tree, not a bush. Honestly, are these all does? Where'd the bucks go? Oh, there's other ones over here. Quite a few white tail over here. Sorry, I'll pay attention to the chat in just a second. Just wanted to make sure I got everything. Now I gotta run a long ways to get to the other side of this. Actually, we can just go to the tent. That's why it's good to have a tent somewhere along this river system. I used a 6.5 the day it came out and haven't touched it since. You know what? You gotta have an excuse to bring it out at some point. I mean, it's you're using it on a whitetail. I mean, you can use a 30-06 bolt action or the 30-06, you know, M1. Um, Keevan, I already forgot the name of it. But, um, Evenique, Evenique. Evenique? I think that's the name. Um, or you can use the 6.5. It's not. It's. I mean, they're killing them. They're they're bringing them down. It's not like a, you know. It's not not doing enough damage, and I'm having to shoot them twice or something like that. If it's doing the job, it ain't bad. It, you know, the 30 out six does some great damage and brings them down as well. But so far, we haven't really had any issues with. Penetration and all that. There's a bear. Two bears. See, if you needed that mission to get two bears in one picture, boom, right there. Opticon says he wants to get the mission skin for the 6.5 millimeter, but I need a diamond off of Quattro, and Quattro is a bit bugged at the moment. That's true. That is true, Opticon. Absolutely, Opticon. Go ahead. Like I said, Post whatever you want on the Call of the Wild, you know, trophy flexing page. Obviously, you know, if you are trying to flex something that's not that cool, then I'm I'm not going to promise that people are going to be nice, but but it's still worth still worth it if you think something's cool, put it on there. People would love to see. I know Tan Tan, but just ha say you have it. Just say you have it. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> okay, that white tail should be up here, I think. I'm thinking. Pretty sure, anyway. There. There we go. Massive level two. That means the level twos can be can be diamonds, so it's a possibility. God, 
God, my dude was out of breath. He was out of breath big time. It's not letting you in the Discord. What the heck? Is that a diamond? Is what a diamond? It's a little two. Sharon asks, what do you have for diamonds? I don't know. So many, I don't know. I just have to go through my lodge. There's, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not going to say I have a ton because I only have like 32 or something like that, but I don't, I don't keep track of all 32. I don't know what they are. They're in the lodge somewhere. Go find them. All right, we shot this whitetail. Now we just need to find them. Cinnamon black bear. Cinnamon. Flinter got an albino level 2 diamond the other day. Lucky. Hey, yeah, I'd say so. That dude plays a ton, though. Um, I've heard he plays, like, Rocket League or something like that, but I don't know if he plays any other games. He loves this game. I mean, and his channel is built around this game, too, so he might as well just continue playing it. But, I mean, if there's anything I can say about Flinter, it's his, uh, his motivation to play this game must never falter because I don't know how he does it. I play this game for a good while, and I get, I get pretty bored, and that's why I've been playing a lot of other games, too. F Fishing Planet and... Uh, well, Hunting Simulator was a nice little break, too, and now we have Hunting Simulator 2, so... You know, you just do what you can. Two seventy six point eight. Whoa. Whoa. A tree or those legs? I think it's a tree. I'm gonna vote tree. I am voting tree. Do I play Sims 4? You know, I think I did when it came out. My brother and I grew up playing Sims games. We, th we think they're pretty awesome. But, uh, I think I played it when it came out and a little while after that maybe and I don't think I've touched it since then. But that was a good while ago. <sighs> I think the I haven't played much the last month or so. Something about the game is bugged and boring. <laughs> yeah, I understand, Mark. What have you been doing in the meantime? I hear footsteps, but I don't know where they're coming from. I think the funny thing about Sims games is that uh, everyone has like their own style of playing. Some people like want to make it as realistic as possible and like copy their own family, and then other people are like, "No, I'm just gonna you know make a bunch of I'm just gonna make a bunch of random people, and I'm gonna figure out ways to kill them in weird ways." And or my brother, he always made one character. He never did any romantic things with anyone else, and uh, he got like his art level like all the way so that he could sell a bunch of paintings and whatnot, and like uh, get a nice house. And then he would stop. Like that's when he that's when he would stop playing. Like that was that was the best thing he could do in that game. It was, it was his favorite thing to do. Just get a guy's skill up all the way, make a bunch of money from it, and then just stop playing. He did that multiple times. He would stop. He would, like, restart and do it all over again as well. 
Is your brother's name Zach? Yeah, Z. Good old Z, bro. I will have Hunting Simulator tomorrow, so I'll give that a spin. Did you buy the original Hunting Simulator, Mark? Or are you going to buy it tomorrow? My latest harvest screen is in the channel along with a cool screenshot. Ooh, ooh, all right, Opticon. We'll have to check it out after the stream. Anyone got big plans this week? Anyone gonna do anything fun? Oh, Mark bought it on Amazon for 10 bucks. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm not saying it's a great game. Not saying it's a good game. Um, but for 10 bucks, it's it's a hunting game. You can hunt things, sort of. I mean, you can shoot animals, and you can make it as fun as you want it to be. Um, so, when I played it, I just tried to have fun. It's easy to get frustrated on things and just quit, but you know what? That wasn't what I was trying to do. <laughs> I was trying to have fun. Though I will say that I was trying to make a video of using a crossbow in Hunting Simulator 2 today, and I got so frustrated, I stopped recording, I deleted the files, and I just said, nope, not making a video about crossbows. <laughs> so, when I uh, start posting videos on Hunting Simulator 2, you may see some things and think, oh, where's the crossbow video? And there's not going to be one. Because I hate that thing, and I'm never going to make a video about it. It's ridiculous. When are we doing multiplayer? Tantan's got it. You betcha, Tantan. B and Z, Bo and Zach. Bo and Z, Brynn and Zach. Whatever you want to go with. When are we doing multiplayer? I don't know. Whenever, whenever we run through all of our deer spots. And then we might be hopping multiplayer and realizing that no one's on the correct times to make it easy for us. And then switching back to single player. So, it's whatever. We're just going to try some different things. I just wanted to try something different. It looked more arcade-like. Yes, Mark, very true. It's very true. Try to play games and take care of my children. Hopefully get a new video up. No promises yet. We need to feel better first. I totally agree, Sharon. Hope hope you start feeling better. Hope this MRI sheds some light on some things. That'll be useful. Bird alien hybrid. What is up? Marshall Feltz says elephants and rhinos in the game? He wants elephants. Oh, we don't. He can't even say wants. He says we need elephants and rhinos in the game. Why? Why do you want elephants and rhinos in the game? Need a bigger target? Oh, just kidding. That's mean. Thursday, I think, Mark, isn't it? Is, is Thursday the 7th? What's today? The 4th? 5th? 6th? 7th? Yes, Thursday, Mark. Gavin says it's not working, but looks great. 17 and a half. All right. Hey, we've made it to my duck hunting spot. And there's all my ducks. That's a lot of ducks. Guess we probably could have spawned into this uh, tent, and then we probably could have got some ducks, huh? That would have been cool to do, Bo. Why don't you think ahead like that? So stupid. Can we goose hunt together? Uh, maybe. 
maybe someday not today but someday I'd love to do a community goose hunting dealio where we just we just try to call in a bunch of geese and then just go bananas on them I think that sounds awesome Sharon says he loves your vid. Hey, thank you so much, Sharon. I appreciate that. That's awesome. You know what? I just try to make videos that people will enjoy, and I just hope they enjoy them. I will for you. I can make a multiplayer game for you. Hey, if you do that, bro, I'll jo I'll join your I'll join your game. You let me know and you have it up, and what I should look for. Seventeen and a half inches. Gavin, I feel really bad asking this, but what are we talking about? 17 and a half inches. Because I, I, I know you said something, and now I cannot remember what you said you did. And now the 17 and a half inches, I'm like, I'm struggling to remember what it is. What did you do? <laughs> I remember saying, Gavin, that's awesome. And now I cannot remember what I said that about. I'm really sorry. Mark, nice looking forward to it. Yes, absolutely. That would be car controversial. That, that indeed. Deer Hunter says Impala, Impala, leopards, hippos and hyenas would be cool. You know, leopards are one of my favorite animals. Um, when I was in Zambia, I saw lots of leopards. Uh, I say lots, but honestly, it was like two, which was uh, a lot to uh, people who had spent time in Africa and never seen one before. They were like people who lived in Africa, and they had they were like, oh, we've seen lots of lions. We've just never seen a leopard before. And we were like, oh, well, we've seen two of them since we've been here. <laughs> and they were like, no way, that's awesome. So that's, that's hilarious. But I love leopards. Leopards are so cool. I actually have a really cool story I'll tell you here in a bit. As long as these white tail don't get spooked from this freaking bear, they're attentive right now. Um, hippos and hyenas, though, maybe. I think hippos could be cool. I mean, they're kind of, I don't know, they're kind of stupid. They just lay in the water. Oh, they don't lay in the water, but they they just stand on, they just stand on things in the water. And then if they get threatened, then they rush and try to beat anything to a pulp with brute strength is basically the hippo's motto. Oh, why'd you turn? Well, we got them. It only took a whole magazine. Okay. Get another bullet now. <laughs> Gavin, the trout. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Yes. That is sick. Let me see. I got a ruler in front of me. This is Gavin's trout, everyone. Whoa. That's a big one. From right here to right here. That's a good sized trout, bro. That's sick. That is sick. You know what? The best I can do is uh, whatever size of brook trout I've sh I've uh, I about said shot. I've uh, I've caught in a fishing planet. So you know what? You beat me a thousand times over. So well done, Gavin. That's sick. Andrew says, got a flock of geese that had three diamonds. Wow, wowie zowie. That's pretty crazy. Sharon says, I mostly want zebras and tigers. <laughs> I don't understand the appeal of zebras. I mean, they're just striped donkeys. Why would you ever shoot a donkey? I could see Impala and like a uh, water buck and uh, bush buck and stuff like that. Would be cool. Basically, Zambia map. You know, I loved Zambia when I was there. Make a, uh, a wet season, a wet season Zambia map. And I think it'd be sick. Hey man, hippos are mean suckers. Dude, I'm not saying that dumb people can't be mean. I think there's a lot of dumb people that are mean. But, uh, <laughs> same with hippos. They're dumb, 
they're mean. Um, I'm not arguing they're not mean. But uh, I'm not sure how fun they would be in a hunting game. I mean, if you're just wandering around for Honga and then all of a sudden you just see a hippo, a head of a hippo just like sitting up in the water there, boom, it's it's dead. I mean, how fun was that? <laughs> now, if there was like four of them or something in that water and you shot one of them and then all of their heads went down and then they all rushed you at the same time, that could be cool. I, I mean, that's when a hippo would be cool to hunt, I think. Um, you're not really hunting it at that point. You're more defending yourself <laughs> because of uh, you doing something stupid. <laughs> pronghorn, Nicholas says. Yeah, I'd love Pronghorn in the game. I think Pronghorn would be sick. I, I'm really looking forward to a, a desert map. You know, have some desert bighorn and some pronghorn and... Um, uh, like Havelina and whatnot. Sounds sick. I'm trying to catch up here. I like a great one Siberian tiger on Medved. Very rare but amazing. Absolutely agree with you, Mark. I've I've thought that for the longest time. I wanted I wanted the tiger to be like the diamond animal. Like it was so rare. It was a species that was entirely just rare. But yeah, a great one at at this point. A great one of a tiger on Medved would be amazing. Absolutely. They would be scary at night when they come out. I I guess so, Deer Hunter, but how many people hunt at night? I mean, by the amount of people who were upset about the night vision pack, I would assume not too many. But, I mean, if that's what it took to have a scary hunt of hippos, then yeah, maybe you would hunt at night. You know, just so that you could have a scary hunt with hippos. Hey, Bo, I got home nice and cold next to a fireplace eating steak. Oh, man. Oh, man. You're like, you're like describing a nice, relaxing, like a, oh, my God. Like a birthday dinner or something like that. Cozy up next to the fire eating a steak. Little, little glass of Lagavulin next to you. That would be sick. 190 for another little decent whitetail. Greater Kudu would be awesome, absolutely. And you could you could have that on the Zambia map. There's Greater Kudu in Zambia as well. The females here probably don't think. Yeah, almost a small lake trout. Yeah, and you know I'd had um, chances to go catch lake trout, and I never did catch one. We caught um, very small rainbows, but that's it. Went night crawling a couple nights ago. Got a bucket full. Wow, very nice. Very nice. Um, very cool. Basically fat whale cows. We need Nile crocodiles and Verhonga and Verhungra, Verhungra. That that would be interesting. I'd I'd see them similar to hippos, I guess. Same thing. You shoot them and then that's it. When we can use boats, yeah, they'll knock the boat over. Song heathens, how's it going? I'm catching up with the chat now. Howdy, howdy. Hunt during the night in Medved just because it isn't d that dark. Yeah, well, and Medved is such a freaking... The atmosphere of Medved is just so magical. The music of Medved just like... It like... I don't know. Anytime I play that, I like... Want to play it around Christmas time or something like that. It's just like, oh... You hear the little dings of the xylophone or whatever it is. And you're just like, oh man, I'm in Medved. I just want it to be fantastic. Unfortunately, it's just not that great of a map. It's unfortunate. I want there to be more animals that I can hunt. And uh, to be, you know, happy about the musk deer and everything like that. But I'm just, I'm just not at the moment, unfortunately. Jake Robinson says, hello. Hey, hey how's it going, Jake Robinson? Where do deer go at night? Have a mission to get a whitetail at nighttime. You know, honestly, don't know. If we're talking real life, maybe they go out to go eat something. Let's find out. Leighton Lake, looking at the old, the old, the old, not O L, the old BZ Hub chart here. Um, whitetail at nighttime. 
They are, uh, let's see, 5.30 in the morning. At nighttime, the whitetail are sleeping. So that doesn't make any sense, but there you go. They're, uh, they're sleeping somewhere. So they're in the forests. I would, Sharon, go run around and see if you scare any up and uh, find their find their need zones. And if you find some and you scare them away, well, then you can just shoot one while it's kind of running away from you because they don't run very fast. Um, or wait for them to come back. You know, whatever works. How have y'all been? Uh, doing well, Rodney. Can't complain. You know, we have better days and we have worse days. It's whatever. Alligators would be cool for an Everglades map. Man, I tell you what, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Between the hippos, the crocodiles, and the and the and the alligators, they're all the same. They're gonna be out there in the water. You're gonna pop one in the head, and then it's just gonna float over to you. The thing about duck hunting is that the easiest time to shoot ducks is when they're just sitting out there on the water. And everyone who gets a diamond duck usually just sees it out on the water and shoots it with a 22, and that's how they get their diamond duck. It's not like they're sitting there calling in ducks and they shoot 40 or 50 of them and one of them happens to be a diamond. Most of the time you're just running around and you see one and you're like, oh, level three, boom, and then you got a diamond duck. It's going to be like that for crocodiles and alligators and hippos. It's the exact same thing. So I, I, I don't know. Unless you never saw them during the day... And then at nighttime, they all came up on land like they do in real life. And then you, you know, you now you have a crocodile over in this bush over here and you have to shoot the crocodile before it runs over and grabs you or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Sore, but mostly satisfied. Right on. Have animals illegal or you can lose money if you're not careful. If you like that, you're going to love Hunting Simulator 2, Sharon. Polar bear on Medved, not a bad idea. Not a bad idea, I guess. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, I would think it's a possibility to see them up there. Honestly, I have no idea. Do you see polar bears in Siberia? Not sure. Good advice, BZ. I honestly don't know what what for. What did I say that was good advice? I gave good advice. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I was, I'm glad it's good advice. Have you played the Hunter Classic? If you have, can you do a vid on it? Song Heathens, I've got a few vids on Hunter Classic. Um, I did. I designed the the Hunter Classic uh, competition trophies back in the day. I'm an almost dev for the Hunter Classic. I have the jacket and everything from it. The uh, the special yellow jacket. You'll see it in the videos. But yeah, helped make that game what it is today. Hey, dude, what's up? What's up, Jamie? How's your day going? How's your night? Whatever time it is for you. If it's the one thing I never, uh, I can't know completely about the Hunter is that there's so many people from other places that I never know what time it is for you. Though I'll tell you what, it's definitely beyond the time for a uh, whitetail right now. So we need to sleep. Getting discharged soon, waiting for nurse. Hey, right on, Sharon. Good to hear, good to hear. 11.56, perfect. Have you had any luck with the big white tails? You know, we've shot a few 187 to 220s, but not a lot. We're, uh, we went through the whole river system um, and shot a few different white tail here. Hopefully we clear up some of the, the uh, pressure over there and go hunting over there soon. But I have one spot over here I want to check real quick and then we'll see what we can find best hunting game forever so balanced so realistic yeah I mean it's the, I wish uh, movement was better it's so slow anytime I try to play it now I guess I've lost my patience I've lost my patience with that game it's unfortunate Hello, my best streamer. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I appreciate the compliment. Fortnite clips. 
appreciate it. Let's just say all of the animals would be great. What? What all of the animals? You want dogs? You want dogs to hunt in the game? You sick. You're sick, Rodney. What's up, bro? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. We're just, uh, we're trying to find... Trying to find a great one out here. But, uh, you know. Not having much luck at the moment. It is, we did change the time to be just before their, uh, their need zone time, so... Could take a little bit. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Probably gonna hit my tripod. Don't run. Don't run. I promise. I got cookies. What a bee. Can you believe that? I offered him cookies and he still ran away. My night is great now. I'm watching you. Hey, fantastic. Well, glad you were able to make it. It's 2.45 p.m. in England. Hey, right on. That's awesome. We've been watching all the James Bond films uh, lately. That's what's going on in my life, speaking of England. Just wanted to let you know. Just wanted to let you know, I heard that uh, he's got something to do with England. Mark Peterson lives in Gardner, Kansas. You know where that is, Bo? Yes, absolutely, Mark. Absolutely. God's outdoorsman. Hey, how's it going, outdoorsman? Yeah, outdoorsman, you? That whitetail's coming back. We're gonna get... I guess it wasn't a good shot. Oh, you stopped, you. You silly. We got a black tail now. Oh, I got her in the butt. <laughs> Take that. Take that. BZ playing Fortnite? No. No, Gavin. No Fortnite. Though you might be able to, t to uh, talk my brother Z into it. He might, he might play Fortnite for all of you guys. All of you who are into Fortnite. He might, he might play for you. The river system I was talking about last time is the one on the right edge of the map if you hunt that side. This one? Sharon? Hunt it for, for what, specifically? Look at all those moose over there. Yeah, I hear you. She's gonna die. She's gonna die. Did I say that in enough serial killer tone there? She's gonna, she's gonna die. No country for old men. Am I the only one with the BZ Hub spreadsheet laminate? <laughs> Dude, that is sick. Man, I really want to, uh... Upgrade it, or, you know, uh, get it up to date, but it's just... I can't fit it all on one page. I've come up with a, with a way to uh, still get it made. Um, it's not going to be on one page, unfortunately, but, you know, it's whatever. I just need to do it. I've got so many things I'm working on at the moment, I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to do it, though. BT Dubs, just a second. Take a look at the back of my chair for me.
Sorry about that. A little break. What's your biggest diamond? Fortnite clips. I have a video about that. That is one of the frequently asked questions, so I finally just made a video about it. Um, if you go and check my YouTube videos, you'll find the frequently asked questions video, my biggest diamonds. Go ahead and check that out. Like all of the animals that have been mentioned by the players, didn't mean it like dogs. You sick. You're sick, Rodney. Can't believe you'd say that. All the animals. You wanna, you wanna hunt a, a, a hamster? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Jake Robinson, I know it's, it's me, Jamie. It's me, Jamie. Spear hunting would be cool like the old days. Like the old days. Like a, like a caveman. Um, yeah, like, uh, Far Cry Primal. We played that. We played Far Cry Primal. It was fun. I liked the spear. Hey, that'd be her. That'd be the girl. That's the one we shot. I can never use that bow. Jake Robinson just takes practice. Just takes practice. It becomes muscle memory at that point. My biggest fear is that I'm going to get too cocky with this recurve bow. And when I finally see a, uh, a great one, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to get the great one with the recurve bow. And then I'm going to shoot it and it's going to be a diamond because I freaking messed it up. Or gold. I guess it becomes a gold if you mess up a great one. So, it's whatever. Imagine horse riding. How's your day been? Sorry, I'm getting out. Of, I'm getting off track. We like Fortnite. We like Fortnite. We like Fortnite. We like Fortnite. Like I said, when my brother Z gets here, you you talk him into playing Fortnite for all of you. He'll play Fortnite. And if he talks me into playing it, then I don't know. Then we'll we'll see what happens. It's not an interesting game. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of my thoughts. I'm, it just it never appealed to me. PUBG never appealed to me either. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a weirdo. I'm not. A, I'm a weirdo for not liking all these games that people really like for some reason. How's your day been? My day's been pretty good, though. Um, I've been waiting for a package all day long for uh, something related to my for my YouTube channel, but unfortunately I never got here, so. Oh, we shot the one behind it. Are you all glitched out now? What's going on here? You silly goobers. Shot that one in spinal cord. <laughs> Imagine horse riding on here, spear hunting for animals. I mean, that would be interesting. You'd be like a rider of Rohan, riding around. Oh, there's a bunny too. Hello, bunny. What you doing there, bud? What are you? I don't even know who you are. You're a six to nine. Six to nine. Have to make sure I say the two in between. Just shot a piebald female moose. It's my first rare moose. Hey, right on, bird alien hybrid. That's sick. Well done. What about hunting in planes or helicopters? Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, only if we got a minigun. That we could just, like, anything we see, we could just mow down. Like that entire herd of elk. I just want to be like, and just get them all with one hit. Meh, whatever. <sighs> what is up, Noah says. Damn, we're just looking, man. We're getting sidetracked by a lot of animals, but we're looking for a great one. Don't you know? Don't you know? Um, what is this? Look at all those elkers over there. What are you doing, elkers? Crazy elk. Jamie, I don't think so. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Just found a love before Roosevelt. Okie dokie. Rodney, you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad. 
Because I could be just be taken annoying, you know. I don't want to be annoying. I'm probably annoying to a lot of people, though. That's just to put two bullets. Okay, I was gonna say, let's put two bullets in that guy, but and then his health didn't go down, and I was like, what? Level four, Roosevelt. Gotcha. I'm with you now. Well, cool. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a decent one. Hopefully, just spotted a mythical black bear. Hey, right on, deer hunter. Are those whitetail? Nope. Okay. I thought maybe they'd be sp spilling out too. What technique do you recommend for finding diamonds? Main, it's all about knowing your need zones. You gotta know your need zones, and in fact, I would focus on the drinking need zones because they're so easy. I mean, look. All this blue, that's where they're drinking. Don't you know? And uh, if you know where the animals like to drink, and you know what animal you want to find a diamond of, then uh, you just make sure to go check out those areas when it's during their drink time. And you can easily find out their drink time just by going down onto the map. And then you can see the need zone for the drink it says 9 o'clock to 1.30. So you know that the moose like to drink between 9 and 1.30. So if you're looking for a diamond moose, then uh, change the time to 9 o'clock and then run up and down these uh, these waterways and you're gonna give your chance the best you know the best shot of getting a, uh, a diamond moose because I mean the diamond moose has to drink just like the other ones so they gotta get that water bro what are you doing oh geez Louisa's okay I'll quit hunting we're, t we're done hunting everyone they got upset with me Look at all these little white tail. I uh, kind of stops, stopped looking for that male moose that or that male elk that we shot. Hey, we found it. <laughs> that was lucky. Love your vids. Hey, really appreciate it, Jamie. Where are you on the map? We are up here now, right next to the high lake title there if you mess up a great one it's a gold but there are a few people like me who shot one before the hotfix and we will have diamond gray ones yeah darn it all that sucks that sucks darn it that could have been my diamond jackrabbit there but no it just had to be a six to nine six to nine dude I want turrets on four wheelers that can drive around and cause mayhem absolutely I think you should go, like, full Mad Max, though, and, like, you know, if you see a moose or something, you, like, spray your teeth with the, with the stainless, or the chrome spray paint, and then you just ram it into the moose, and then everything explodes, and then, the, yeah, that's how you, sh that's how you bring down the moose. I mean, that sounds sweet. That sounds like something we definitely need the Hunter Call the Wild. I gotta go see you. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Rodney. Appreciate it. Good luck. The great ones look massive. Yes, they do. They do look massive. And hopefully we find one at some point. We're on the look. On the lookout. Though I tell you what, we're on the opposite side. We are gonna, yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure we'd be able to cross at some point. What is you? A Mooserton. They should open the game for mods. I don't think that'd be a good idea. I mean, why would you want... It's a competitive game. So why would you open it for mods where someone could uh, make it easier? Then it wouldn't be competitive anymore because someone could just make it easier and then, you know, get an up on the competition. Ooh, bull! I honestly don't want to run backwards. <laughs> I'm too lazy. 
probably won't happen with the virus going around. Hey, yeah, probably not right now. But, uh, someday. Maybe so. Hey, BZ, stop hunting just to watch you, but just got a diamond moose and a diamond whitetail in the same hunt. Flyman. That is sick. Well done, bro. That is sick. A diamond whitetail and a diamond moose in the same hunt. There's a bunch of stuff over there right now. Just the moose and a bunch of elk, though. Nothing great. <sighs> when are you going to end your stream? Because I might watch some of the Hunter Classic vids. Uh, we're going to end at 9.30. We always try to stream from 7.30 to 9.30. So we'll stop at 9.30. I think I've got... I want to say three or four. Maybe three. Don't have a ton, but we do play it every now and then. Like I said, I, the tough thing with streaming is that uh, I want to keep everything fast-paced so that no one gets bored. There's a 9 to 12 there. And uh, the Hunter Classic is just so slow-paced that usually if I have like, I don't know, like 24 people watching or something like that and I switch to the Hunter Classic... All, you know, usually it'll go down to maybe like 12 to 9 people. Like, it is so slow paced, people just get so bored watching. And they'll just leave. Like, they don't have any interest. So I don't really play the Hunter Classic. One time, uh, it was like a Saturday or something like that, and we were playing the Hunter Classic, and it was just a few people on Twitch, and they were all, you know, saying they wanted me to play it, so... That's what we did, and we spent the entire time, it was like two hours, three hours maybe, just trying to find a polar bear, and uh, at the very end, we found a polar bear, and uh, that's actually one of the videos, it's hilarious. If I have to say, go watch one of the Hunter Classic videos, go watch the polar bear one, it's great. When I when I finally made that, dude, there's a part in the, uh, in the very center or something like that, maybe a little bit past the center. And uh, every time I watch that part, I freaking laugh. Yeah, I, I think it's hilarious. Wish I could go real hunting with you. I, you know, it's whatever. I don't really hunt anymore. I've gone out and I've taken pictures of things. Um, you know, if you see my, uh, I have a turkey video on my page. It's I went out there and I basically hunted turkeys and then I just took videos and pictures of them. Like, I was just showing you how easy it was to get up to the turkeys. And, uh, I could have easily shot them, but <laughs> I, I was like, why? I just took a bunch of photos and, and videos and made a YouTube video about it. I mean, that's, that's basically it. Turkeys in spring kind of get stupid. You just put up decoys and you start calling and they literally, like, the young jakes will just, like, run straight to your decoys. And for a young kid, like, that's fantastic. That just makes it easy. But, uh... Oh, could you imagine if that was just a great one? Little rainy day. Little rainy day. But, I mean, I, yeah. If we did go hunting, I probably wouldn't hunt at all, but I'd go with you. I guarantee we'd probably... Well, I mean, obviously, I can't guarantee you that because animals are animals, but... I mean, we'd probably get something. I used to hunt all the time when I was little. When I was little. When I was in high school and middle school, I used to hunt all the time. Anytime that I could go out into the country and hunt something, I was out, I was out there hunting. And then when I left for college, I just stopped. So. Got all those hunter skills, just don't use them anymore. Is the M1 Garand worth the money? I don't know. I mean, it's a game. If if you're looking for a gun to shoot animals, I mean, all the all the guns that you can use on Whitetail shoot the animals. And if you want to shoot three of them or four of them, well, I mean, you could probably do that with the bolt action 30 out six, because it shoots pretty quickly too. Um, 
But if you want to have a better chance of getting three or four or five or six of them or something like that, um, you try the M1. I mean, the M1 shoots pretty fast, and it's a hard, hard-hitting hard bullet with the 30-odd six there. Um, just depends. Depends on what you think is worth the money. If it's gonna, If you think having a rifle that's fun but also does a lot of damage and um, allows you to shoot more animals to get more money or something like that or wipe out need zones or something then yeah the M1's totally worth the money Cameron Kennedy says I think someone has a count posing as you on where Cameron on this one streaming Purvis hunting did you see an eight-year-old shot the first great one also remember me I'm the guy who just started a channel how about that no I don't remember that Purvis didn't see that I'm here how's it going length of your hat how are you how's the how's the day going I'll have a great one that scores like no one that's hey that is the right idea okay so what we're gonna do do I have this reloaded yeah I do Lego you need more recognition dude I would love more recognition need to aim straight on more Got a few of them anyway. I don't even know where they are now. Oh, they're way over there. Well, I appreciate that purpose. Fly man, I'm gonna watch your hunting simulator two videos on May 7th. Hey, I appreciate that. That's awesome. Three great guns, Alan says. Go for it. Please reload. It's killing me. Is that the uh, the the six point five? Switch switch weapons. Sorry sorry about that. I'm glad someone's on reload duty though. Thank you so much, Mac Daddy. We need to have we need to bring back the designated reload people. Which basically means that if I forget to reload, I just give you a hard time. <laughs> Since there's enough uh, stream delay that usually the person never is able to tell me to reload in time. We're going to switch weapons, though, because um, I can buy more money or buy, buy more rounds, but I don't feel like it, so we're not going to. Um, what should I use? I kind of want to use the M1, but I kind of want to just use something else at the same time. Let's use the Eckers. I haven't used the Eckers in a long time. Eckers, 30 yacht 6, 30-06, 30-06. Get rid of that. Alrighty. Switching out our, our deer rifle here. I really want the Hunter Classic, but I have a MacBook Air, which is sad, but why does it only work for Windows? That just sucks. Hey, I don't know, Song Yi. I mean, it's an old game. I, you know, I honestly don't know. What is going on here? Sorry. <laughs> All of a sudden, my, uh, oh, I just saw something running away there. I just saw something running away there, and it looked like it had antlers. We're going to go see what it is. Those are whitetail tracks. S 
super foggy though. Hey, right on, length of your hat. What's your favorite trophy you've shot in Call of the Wild? Oh, golly. Mm, either my 994 elk or, um, which isn't that great. I'm just, I really love that elk for some reason. He just looks so majestic. And then, um, I shot a crowned wildebeest and I love that thing too. I had wanted a crowned wildebeest for a very long time and then I finally got one and I was like, oh my god, thank you. Finally. Finally got a crowned wildebeest. So, I was pretty happy about that that day. What's your favorite? Your favorite diamond. Or your favorite trophy, I suppose. Here to help. Hey, right on Mac Daddy. I appreciate it. Any diamond whitetail yet? I ain't got one yet. You know what? I ain't got one either. I uh, I actually found a diamond potential whitetail when I uh, first got back into this, and it was one of my it was in one of my first diamond videos. Um. Okay, there is deer there. They're just not. I just can't see them very well. I saw the antlers of that one stick up. They're just really hidden behind all that foliage. If I could spot him, then I could take a shot at him through the grass. Why can't I jump? That ought to work. Why are you all running to me? Go away. Go the other way. You, you dumb deer. You dumb deer. I'm over here, don't you know? <laughs> See, now they're attacking me. How was that not a good shot? It was right on the chest. Bunch of baloney. Deer down. Deer down. Here to help. Okay, I've hit my map so hard lately. Give me a reason. Give me a reason to subscribe. I don't know. You ever heard of the term investment? Like investing money, investing time? And you want to see that time investment or that money investment pay off. YouTube's no different. You can spend your time watching videos of other people. And you know, you never know if they'll ever turn into anything whatsoever. But I can tell you, if you follow my channel, it's going to be a good use of time. It's going to be a good investment of your time. Um, and whatever else you deem is necessary. So, I mean, if you enjoy a good investment, then the, then the BZ Hub, you can't do much better. You can't do much better. And I have to tell you, you're already going to get a good return on your investment because my brother Z is coming in May, and then we'll be back to the BZ Hub. This entire time, it's really only been B Hub, don't you know? It's only been B Hub. Since last February, it's been B Hub. Not even BZ Hub. I've been saying it. But it's only been B-Hub. Do I need to say it again? Do I need to say B-Hub three more times? But, uh, yeah. Here in the center of May, uh, I'm gonna have my brother Z here. And he's gonna start helping on this stuff, hopefully. Doing a little bit here and there. He, of course, has school as well, so he's gonna be a busy, busy dude. But, uh, he's definitely gonna chime in every once in a while. I'm looking forward to it. That's a great reason. Yeah. My favorite trophy is my huge legacy rack reindeer I shot in the heart at 300 yards. He looks beautiful in my lodge. Hey, that sounds awesome, Purvis. I like a good size reindeer. I actually, back in the day, it was kind of strange. Um, the, uh, the reindeer actually fit onto a smaller size plaque than the caribou did. 
So I actually liked the reindeer more than the caribou. That was before I figured that I could, you know, use that one. Um, the one trick or whatever to get them to fit on anything. Which is honestly the only trick I'll ever... I'll ever probably use. I don't like anything that makes the game easier. Um, but mounting an animal on a plaque that it shouldn't necessarily fit on doesn't seem like a cheat to me. There's no cheating to that. It's not like I'm going, ha ha, I have an advantage because of this. Like, that's not a thing. It's going in your trophy lodge. Just put it in your dang trophy lodge. If you're making a big, big deal about it, then I don't know what you need to do. Go burn some ants on an anthill with a magnifying glass if you're going to get so picky about things. My piebald level 7 red deer. See, that sounds sick. Level 7 red deer. See, the piebalds and whatnot, albino, melanistic, all that, they're sick. I mean, just to find, but to find one with a good set of antlers on it, like, that is sweet. That's when you actually got something good there. And that's when you need to, like, kind of slow down sometimes and, like, try to coax it in and get some nice pictures of it or something. Um, because that's, that's sweet. It scored 948 before True Rex. Wow, Bike Brothers. That's, that's still a pretty good one. 948 yeah and you know honestly if it's above 900 I love those animals and uh, I used to have a rule back when it was out of a thousand that anything over like 910 unless it was something I had a lot of of a lot of of um, unless it was something I had a lot of then I let it go but it used to be that if I could find something that was above 910 then I just mounted it in my trophy lodge because I love those animals I mean they look big so it's worth it to me It'd be like me finding a 10-point buck in real life or something like that. Like, that's that's a nice buck. 10 points. I'll go with it. I'll go with it. Even a nice 8-pointer is a, is a wall hanger sometimes. I mean, all your deer should be wall hangers. And I'm a bad example of that because I got two in my closet right now. But, but hey. There we go. I was worried I might not be able to squeeze that in. Of course, we shot it in the same place that we shot those other ones, and we we're on the complete opposite side of this giant lake, lake-like river here. We're going to continue running through it, though. We do have a tent down here. Yeah, we have a tent, and then we'll we'll walk back and get that guy. I subbed. Hey, thanks, NASCAR. Appreciate it. B-Hub, 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 B-Hub. It's like Beetlejuice. You say it three times, and I appear. <laughs> and that's scary, just like Beetlejuice. First stream I could catch, I'm glad. Bro. I love that your name is Bro. It makes it easy, because I say Bro all the time. Bro, I'm glad that you are here as well. Uh, what map would you like, BZ? You know what? Uh, there's a lot of Australians that you know, would like an Australian map, and I feel for them. I feel like they should get an Australian map, too. Um, so I'd like an Australian map, but I'd also like a Zambian map with a bunch of... Um, with a bunch more African animals. Impala, water buck, greater kudu, uh, bush buck. You know, you know, um, we'd have to probably throw a K buffalo in there unless... Unless all of you water water dog lovers, water cow lovers, you you want to switch out the Cape Buffalo with a hippo. There are a lot of hippos in Zambia, um, which I think there's a lot of hippos in a lot of places in Africa. But um, but yeah, and I think a leopard would be cool if you switched out the uh, the lion with a leopard. I think that would be sweet, and uh, have the scrub hair. And then uh, another one that's small that would be kind of like a bobcat is called a genet. G E N E T, and that would be kind of the um, like the bobcat fox kind of thing that you would hunt for. I basically have the entire Zambia map planned out, all good animals that you could put in there, um, and I think that'd be sweet. Instead of a um, instead of a red deer, we would have a greater kudu, 
Um, instead of a, a regular deer or something like that, we'd have uh, a water buck. And then instead of a small, like antelope kind of roe deer or something like that, we'd have a, a decent, you know, impala or a bush buck or something, which are kind of smaller antelope in comparison to a water buck or a uh, greater kudu, of course. The river on the bottom left, Balmont. Um, that spot is trash for me. The river on the bottom left. That spot? You know what? I, I shot a bunch of really nice whitetail out of there, and uh, ever since then, I've really been hunting it a lot. But yeah, I mean, I ever ever since then, I haven't really been finding much. I shot those really nice whitetail, and then I haven't found anything else to respawn there, so it's not that great. Splits! Splits, what's going on? How's your how's your day slash night? Is it just me or is there no 245 to 260 scrounge whitetail? I've shot hundreds of whitetail since the update and I've got none in the 245 to 260 range. Yeah, I don't I don't know, NASCAR. I shot one the other day that was six points away from a diamond. And it was a level two, so I'm not I'm not sure. We're gonna go pick up this guy. And then we might sleep 48 hours or something. 948 said it was 190 to 220 pounds. Okay. Yeah, that makes I mean that makes sense. 187 to 227 or 220. Last week for me has been great for rares. Hey, right on, bird. I mean, it's been great for a lot of people if you really wanted a melanistic ibex or a gold wildebeest, or I've heard that a lot of rares. There's a lot of different rares that popped up in like for Honga and stuff like that. So, yeah. Interesting. You didn't appear, outdoor team slash gang. What's that mean? I have appeared. I'm like a wild Pokemon. Whoa, I'm here. I'm a wild Pokemon and I've appeared. A wild bow appeared. Prepare for battle. I maxed out my tents. I didn't even know that there was a max of tents. Yes, 16. That makes, that, that sounds about, about right. And yeah, there are people who are like, yeah, can we up the uh, max, you know, the max number of tents? And honestly, I've got, how many do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine tents on this map. So I guess I'm closer than I thought I was, but, <laughs> but I didn't even think I was that close. Why not a serval? I don't know. I never saw a serval in Zambia. NASCAR. But genets are pretty cool. As the game of my channel. It took me hours to compile all the info into a vid. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But I mean, you know, coming up with a map isn't isn't that hard. And uh, I'm sure EW is really sick of people. <laughs> asking for things to be added to the game. Which is why I don't really... Um, make any videos about it. I don't want to give them a hard time. But, you know, it's whatever. You can make a video and put an AR-15 on the front and say, these are things I want added to the game. And you'll probably get a ton of views from other people who also want an AR added to the game. But, I don't know. That's just... I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Nelman Outfitters. Hi, BZ. Well, hey, Nelmond. That's a cool name. I've never heard that name before. Nelmond. I want a Glacier National Park map with pronghorn, turkey, bison, ducks, rabbits, mountain lions, bobcat, mule deer, white-tailed deer, moose, mountain goo, bighorn, moose, elk, geese, grizzly bear. Bro. Bro. Look at this sheet. Look at this sheet. See this sheet? The map with the most animals on it is Verhonga, and it's nine. Whatever map you come up with needs to have less than nine animals on it. 
and uh, and they need to be varying size to hit all of the animal classes. So you need to be able to have all that. Maybe include a bird that you can hunt. Uh, Vervanga doesn't have any birds. They only have rab or hares, I guess. They're not rabbits. Um. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, still great ideas, bro. Our whitetail broken because I just shot a 99 kg whitetail, which maxed 100 kg, but it was a two minor. I don't know. I I don't know. I honestly don't know. New warning calls are so cool. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've heard some of them. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what they were before, honestly. I, I don't think I really pay attention. I really like the uh, the nasally uh, warning call from the female whitetail. That's pretty cool. They just needed to get that stomp on the ground. The little, hmm, and then they stomp on the ground. They always, the does always do that. Whenever they think something's up, they always make a loud, squeaky, nasally sound, and then they stomp the ground with their foot. With their hoof. With their hoof. Hi, Jimmy. How's it going there? I gotta go because it's 10.30 for me, but by when you gonna stream again? We are going to stream on Wednesday, but it will be on Twitch. We stream Mondays on uh, YouTube, and we stream Twitch on Wednesdays. So, hope to see you there. Should be pretty cool. That's a sad amount of tents compared to my 16. You know, it's a little over half, <laughs> is what I can tell you. But I'm not I don't have a lot of tents. I don't I don't really put up a lot of tents sometimes um, I'm like, oh, you know what today? I should really put up some tents and then I get sidetracked and I never do it Even when the great ones were first coming out and like they were coming out to the regular games And before that I was thinking to myself I should really run around and put tents up in places that way when the great ones come out I'll be able to just kind of zip around and, and shoot things and look for the great ones really easy never did that I never did that and I should have but I just didn't So it's whatever just shot two level five mule deer in the same herd and both were trolls. Oh no, Ryan. That's horrible. That's really cool that you found two of them though. You should have taken some pictures. Deer Hunter followed the channel. My goodness. <laughs> That's awesome. BZ, I got two leucistic blackbuck today and that piebald as well. That's that's ridiculous. Well done, bird alien hybrid. You reading the chat and me actually typing them as a four minute difference, does that sound right? Uh, I honestly don't know, NASCAR. I honestly don't know. I know that it takes me a little bit, it probably takes one or two minutes for me to like actually read them, but I'm not sure how long it takes for them to get on here. Type something out, I'll look for NASCAR at the very bottom, and immediately when it pops up, you stop the timer and we'll figure out how long the delay is. Quattrocolinus has 10, I think. Quattrocolinus does have a lot of animals. I will say that. They have all those ibex, and they have red deer, and roe deer, and hare, and wild boar. So, you know, maybe they're upping the amount of animals they have. I don't know. But yeah, I do think... Yeah. Quattrocolinus... I know that when it came out, I was thinking, oh, wow, Verhongo had 9 at the time. So I was thinking, yeah, Quattro... That sounds about right, 10 has 10 there anyway anyway I don't think we're gonna find any more white tail guys ladies and gentlemen not today at least we got we got quite a few though how many did we shoot today quite a few um let me read the rest of the chat here. One diamond off, 2200. Re sorry I just saw that NASCAR I wasn't really looking <laughs> um Sharon's on her way home, right on. The Hunter 05 is one diamond off 200 right now. Well, right on. Very cool. Also got two albino water buffalo last week. Wow, goodness gracious. 4 a.m. here in Germany. My goodness. It's uh, it's 9.30 right now. 
Got a diamond albino Cape Buffalo. Wow, that's crazy, bro. You should you should put some pictures on the the Discord. I did, BZ. I did. Um, Sharon's home now. For some reason, I read that as I'm on my way home, but uh, I think the first time. Anyway, she's home now, so that's good. Is your Twitch account by Hub? Yeah, it's B it's BZ Hub. BZ Hub on Twitch. I mean by Hub. <laughs> Some mean autocorrect going on there. Bike Brothers. I want a Tibetan Tundra map with Tibetan antelope, fox, snow goose, ibex, and quail. Ooh, interesting purvis. And then I messed up a diamond black buck. Oh no. <laughs> I might go hunting for a bit, eat some food. Hey, sounds like a good idea, Sharon. One minute, so you just weren't reading the chat as quickly, but good to know. Yeah, I agree, NASCAR. Matthew, good old Matt's going to put the uh, the Discord invite there. Can't pics on Discord because I'm on console. You're supposed to take pictures with your phone, bro. Take pictures right here. Just go, just go, click, 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 and then put them on Discord. Don't you know? Anyway... Uh, that's going to do it, everyone. 9.33 right now. Really appreciate all of you watching. Um, this has been fun. It's been fun talking with you. I, I enjoy talking with all of you, finding out what's going on in your lives and how everything's going and how the Hunter Call of the Wild is is, is treating you. And uh, let's see. No, nope, by Wednesday we still won't have Hunting Simulator 2 out, so I guess we won't be doing that. So, anyway... Thursday, though, we'll have Hunting Simulator 2 videos out, and then I actually lose my uh, my press release version of the game, so then I can't even play it anyway, so. Oh, well. I have an albino Cape Buffalo. Ooh, very cool. Awesome. Sounds great, Sharon. Anyway, that's it, everyone. Um, take care. Like and subscribe. <laughs> that's why I say at the end of every video. Um, can't really think of anything else. I got a diamond line a month ago by accident. Never spotted. Just shot at max weight, forty nine point eight. Score coolest diamond that I never spotted. I agree. That does sound pretty sweet. Ethan Rollway, what did you miss? The whole stream. The whole stream. We're just ending right now. But thanks for stopping by. Uh, check us out seven thirty Central uh, Mondays and and Wednesdays on Twitch. But Mondays on YouTube seven thirty to nine thirty. Dang, just got here. Yeah. Gosh darn. Oh well. Um, yeah. Take care, everyone. We'll uh, we'll see you maybe next on Wednesday on Twitch. But if not, we'll see you next Monday on YouTube. So thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for chatting with me, making sure that this hunt wasn't, wasn't boring. But I really appreciate it. All right. Take care, everyone.